Welcome to the second in a set of introductory videos for Excel 2013 for the PC. Before we get into building histograms and finding summary statistics for measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion, I would like to talk today about one important add-on that you can put into Excel, and this is not just for the 2013 version of Excel, but actually is available for all of the versions for Excel for the PC, and that is the Analysis Tool Pack. To get that particular add-on, we're going to go up and click on the File tab. And you'll notice a new window opens up. This is a little bit different in 2013 than it will be if you have an older version of Excel. But basically, what you see on the left-hand side of this page, you're going to see on any version. It just will be listed a little bit differently. We're going to go down to Options, the very bottom. Click on that then a new screen will open up and you should see a variation of this screen again um, with any version of Excel that you use and we want to select add-ins. When you do that you'll see that the analysis tool pack is highlighted as an Excel add-in. We just want to make sure that that actually is selected. Then we're going to go down and select go. Not OK but go. A new window will open up. We're going to check off Analysis Tool Pack once again. I know it seems redundant, but we're going to do it again. And then we're going to click OK. It doesn't really look like anything has changed when we go back and look at Excel now. However, if we go to Data and we look all the way over to the right hand side, you will see Data Analysis. When you highlight it, it tells you that these are tools for financial and scientific data analysis, which makes sense. If we click on that, you will see numerous options that you can use. The ones that we'll be focusing on in Math 502 include the histogram option right here. Very easy way to create a histogram. We'll do that in the next video. As I scroll down the screen, you'll see a variety of options, most of which you'll use if you take statistics. However, if we go back up to the top again, you will see descriptive statistics. And this is one that I will be highlighting for you as well in a future session. Normally we go on and actually have data analysis do something for us, but at this point the purpose of this video is just to make sure that it is installed in your particular version of Excel. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to talking to you again in video number three.